Good afternoon, folks. I got there's a lot to talk about right now. Well, mostly Spanish American War, as I promised I'd get to. <laughs> Joseph Wheeler. We're going to talk about him first before we get on. He was a double purpose. How was he a double purpose? Of course. He served for the Confederacy, an unpopular type of thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. He had his purpose. I mean, he was a Democrat, so obviously he served for the Confederates. That's literally what mostly... I can't think of one person that was a Republican that served for the Confederates. I can't think of one. Literally, everybody else that served was a... Con that was on the Confederacy was a Democrat. Now, as of the Union that stayed with the Union, those were the Republicans. Now, as we look at a certain quote, he said, just as the war began. This was in quotes said by Joseph Wheeler. During when he came back to the Union side, when he was asked by the President of the United States at that time frame. But remember how fake news is nowadays? Fake news was even used back in those days. Now, the Spanish and the United States, and the United States, both collided for the Spanish-American War, which was started, the Un which, to this conclusion, to this day, the Spanish were right about the whole thing. But the United States wanted were war happy. Why? The Maine. The USS Maine was to were going down there to settle things with Spain and Cuba because there was a war going on between them two. Cuba was trying to get independence from Spain. Cause Spain ruled Cuba. In eighteen seventy sixty eight to eighteen seventy eight, shortly after the Civil War ended, three years after the Civil War ended. A little uprise occurred. But it only lasted for 10 years. And then about... In 1895, the war began again. But a peace treaty was never really signed to, like... For either side to really make amends. It was more like a draw. Neither side really called it a victory. Each, each side had a win, but others didn't. But from 1895 to 1898, it was pretty much the Spanish War of Cuban War of Independence. But then, when the United States entered the war, it became known as the Spanish American War. Because the United States fought. Now, this famous quote by Joseph Wheeler, he said this I've never seen a Yankee infantry march. Nine miles in one day. That was a quote that he famously said before he took command in that little sector. And sure enough, they entered into Cuba. No support in the Santiago region. But San Juan Hill was a key battle that pretty much finished it off. Just over 8,000 U.S. troops Fighting there. No, we're 500, just 521 versus 521 Spanish troops. Literally demolished. They pretty much all annihilated the Spanish at San Juan Hill. Literally denial, demolished. You can't really say. But as of how the war began, between the United States and Spain? Let's just put it this way. It all began by propaganda. First, the... It all thought the United States was just going down there just to do like a little survey of some kind. When it hit a mine. The main hit a mine. And blew up. Supposedly. But however, others think 
the Spanish came to that conclusion. That's what the Spain Spanish did. They suspect the, the United States, correct, the United States came to that conclusion that a hidden mine. However, there was other things inside the main that caused it to explode, which is what the Spanish came to the conclusion. Which the Spanish were correct. But due to the fact the United States was war happy at that time, caused the war. That's what caused the war, because they were just war happy. They wanted a war with Spain. The man exploded due to some strong heat crystals in there that caused it to explode. That's what happened. That's why the war began. So, then they go down there, fought, fought against Spain in both the Cuba Peninsula, Philippines, and other parts of the... And then over there on the Puerto Rico, we took it from Spain, and the Spanish lost their islands, and they, we sent them packing. And that's literally how it all came. That's literally what it, what you gotta look at. How does it come down to that? Well, then several years later, they did their own independent. Another group of people did their own independent view of how the main sunk, and they looked at it both the American view and the Spanish view. And sure enough, they came to the conclusion. That the Spanish were correct the whole time. The propaganda was there. A.K.A. propaganda was what the word was used back then compared to what we use nowadays called fake news. But if you want to call it fake news back in those days, <laughs> that was fake news. The American used fake news to, get a, to send Spain packing to get out of Cuba. But who knows? But Joseph Wheeler... Was pretty much what helped the Americans get out of war, despite him being a former Confederate general. He literally helped the Americans win that war. And I don't know any decorative general who had more honors of making this war winnable than him. He literally helped them send more, we more things in than what anyone could. There is a movie you should probably watch if you want to get a little more perspective of how he pretty much will help them win. You should watch um, Rough Riders. Not sure. You can watch it on YouTube, which is quite interesting. There's two parts, part one and part two, which kind of explains kind of like how it all began. They got Teddy Roosevelt on there. A person playing Teddy Roosevelt, and there's one guy in there playing Joseph Wheeler. And he was a Democrat, asked by the, asked by the president to come in and join the fight. And that's how he, and he accepted. And though he came across a few former Union soldiers, and he says, I wish I would have shot that son of a bitch. Back at Atlanta. I mean, he was very specific about that. But Joseph Wheeler served his purpose in the war. He served the purpose on both sides of, of the war. Both the Civil War on the Confederates and his service on the side of the United States during the Spanish-American War. And the other war, too. And some other wars. We'll talk about that one here in a few days when I get more information about it. Well, I got things I gotta do. With that being said, I'm out of here. Peace.